how do you use Immersive Reader iOS version? Immersive Reader was built for those people who have dyslexia like myself, but it can be very helpful for other areas as well. For example, if you're learning a new language or you are teaching a kid how to read, or it could be simply you have ADHD and you would like to focus while you're reading it or typing it, it will be really helpful for you. Let's go to a OneNote first. Whatever note you have on your OneNote, you can use Immersive Reader. In order to get to your Immersive Reader, you press on these three dots on the right up corner and it should say Immersive Reader and it will get activated immediately. So once you activate your Immersive Reader, your screen will look like this. Read out loud, the button at the bottom. By the African River, Noah's the Nile. And you can pause it. And right next to it, there is a speaker with a gear on it. You press it and you can choose how fast and slow you want the voice speaking to you. And you can choose the gender as well. Not only that, on the right corner, uh, you press a burger one, other features comes up. So first thing first, text size. You can see on a screen right now, it changed. And if you like smaller, you can make it all the way like this small. The next part is increasing space. Enable this one. Uh, you can see they're way closer. Uh, me always activates increased space, so I read it faster for some reason. The other thing is font. I usually go with Calibri. You can see it much better. The fonting from the beginning to end, they're all in the same size. The next thing is theme, especially for night when I'm reading it. Uh, I like to have a background, a little bit solid color. Uh, some people like it dark theme as well, but it's up to you. So it's based on your preference. And if you press more colors, there is more to that. Next thing up here is if you press on the second choice, it's the syllabus. And especially if you are learning languages, you can choose a syllabus and it can help you to read it. And especially I have a dyslexia, it's really hard for me to spell words. So I usually use the syllabus to make sure that I spelled it right or sound it right. And you can actually activate your nouns and verbs and you can see it on the screen. It changes the colors. And the thing is, you can actually customize it however you want it for your nouns. I always go with the green. That's something I learned from my Russian school. And adjective is always purple to me. So that's just the personal preferences. If you don't like it, you can just deactivate them. Or when you activate it, you can show only uh, show labels. So on the screen, it's not just only green. It will also say N on the top as a noun. Very helpful for teachers as well. And next thing, we press on the line focus area. For this one, you activate the line focus first, and then you can choose. So for example, Right now it's a one line and you can choose three lines or paragraphs and it will only highlight the paragraphs like I'll show you. And then you read the ones and then you press it down. It really helps you to focus on especially people who have ADHD. And another thing is a picture dictionary. Okay, let's uh, turn off the focus area and then I'll show you. Let's say I press on river and it will show me picture uh, dictionary. Let's do hippos and then show the picture. Uh, when you are teaching your kid how to read it, that's a really fun way to do it. I love about Mercer Read is translate. So if you press it, you can choose from this all languages. I do speak Russian, but I noticed there is a Mongolian one as well. So let's pick the acrylic one and choose the river. And then it has a translation. But if you notice, it would not have a speaker, it would not pronounce you how to say it. So let's choose Russian now because they've done more development for that part. And then let's choose a river. And right next to this, the speaker will tell you how it sounds like. Rika. Rika. And another thing is you can choose a translation by words or the whole document. So if I choose the whole document, it will translate it in a second whole thing. If you don't like that, you can just turn it off. And they add a new thing as a reading coach. I can read and then they will tell me if I pronounce something wrong or there's something I could change. So for example,